Yo guys, today I got something a little special I want to show you. This my friend is a random access memory, also known as RAM, built in Minecraft. It can store up to 8 bits, which is not a lot, but I could uh, extend this more. I built this so that you can just add more of these on and it would not be a problem. So it's kind of tileable and you can just continue on. For this video here, I only made two of these blocks here. You can kind of see the symmetry here and uh, you could just add another one of these blocks behind and then you will have uh, four more bits of storage. I'm not going into detail on how this redstone here work, but I briefly want to show you some of the things and what I want you guys to do is try to improve this for me because I know a lot of you guys are much better in redstone than I am and maybe some of you guys can come up with usage places for this in Minecraft where you can actually use this because currently it's just for fun. Uh, so yeah, let's briefly just go ahead and kind of show you what this thing is doing here. So this is a RAM. This is totally uh, random accessible memory and you can store uh, bits in here, which is zeros and ones or on and off computer language. Okay, so here we have four lamps and we have two banks storing four digits uh, for these lamps here. So currently um, these levers here are connected up to one of each of them so I can now if I want to access the first four bits I flick this lever here and now I can just click on fetch code as we can see no of these lights here turned on and that's just because all the bits are stored in the first slot and uh, first four slots here are turned off okay but if I would like to let's say I want to have the first three on okay uh, oh I'll click here first uh, on, on, and on. Now the three first should be on. So when I press this button here now, the first three are lighting up. Okay, which is really cool. Uh, and since this here is still pulled down, this light here is still on. We are working on the first four bits. So I could adjust it. I could remove the middle one. Now it's only these two glowing. Uh, but what I could do now, I can go over to the second one. Fetch the code and see what's happening. Okay, so these two are now glowing. You can see that again. These here two are now glowing. Uh, but what I could do, I could turn them all off. And then fetch the code again. And no one is sliding, which is very cool. Uh, I can turn this one off and go into the first four bits again. And if we call the code, it's the same as what we set it to be. Uh, as well, we can go back to this one know of the lights will be turned on which is really cool and I think many of you guys could come up with great suggestions and places to use this for more advanced redstone some of the redstone here is a little bit clunky and wired really weirdly here uh, could definitely need a little bit of cleaning up but I'm just gonna briefly show you how the redstone works here so these levers here they activate which kind of slot we're uh, getting into then we have some pistons allowing the redstone to get through to the right one. So as you can see, uh, we're now accessing the second one. So this one is turned on. And this piston here is pushed up. So when the redstone signal from the fetch code button, which is a green one, will follow up here. And it won't go into this one because this one is turned off. So it's inaccessible. But this one is accessible. So it will go into here. Uh, it would also go through the bottom one here. And go into here and go up into here and uh, detract these uh, pistons here which will allow the redstone from here to go through and also from the bottom here allowing the uh, signals from this bottom buttons here to go up and what these two lines of or these two buttons do is that they have uh, we have some hot droppers here storing an item a diamond here and this diamond so as you can see now we have redstone, this is powered on. If I remove this now, it's off. I can put it in here. And now this is stored as a zero because there's no power. But if I, uh, let's see, if I now access the first one and then add one to this, we will see that the diamond is now moved down here again. So all this redstone is basically just to, to switch the items from these and then you can access them randomly from a panel right here so I can uh, if I were to add more, let's say two more of these blocks, I could also just uh, access them from here, change the value and then call them back. That is kind of the whole purpose of this thing. Just something fun. Um, as some of you may know, I'm currently studying like uh, programming and 
computer science and stuff and I was really inspired to just get on doing something like this and it was really fun doing this so I just want to show you a little bit of what I've been working on and I would like to kind of inspire you guys to use this maybe make it even more compact make it better make it more efficient faster I don't know it's pretty fast already but you could definitely do a lot of improvements to this and some of you geniuses out there can definitely do that and I would also like to see some suggestions on where we could use this in a redstone circuit and also uh, suggestions on how to make it better so feel free to Post me some links or pictures and stuff on Twitter. I would love to check them out. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this, if you found it interesting, or if it helped you in some kind of way. Anyway, I will see all of you guys later. It's been Vega Man, and I'm out.